Hello, hello, my YouTube friends. This is Italian and we're crafting with Isabel. I hope everybody's doing well. Getting ready for um, Christmas. This month went really, really fast. Mm. So, today I'm here with a uh, um, Christmas blessings from my beautiful sis Elsa the Bargain Crafty, Crafting Hunter. And I got these Monday. No, this has a story, okay? She sent me this. She put the right address on it and everything. I was supposed to get it Monday. Then, like before 12 noon, it said that it was going to be delivered by 8 o'clock at night. Then at 11 something in the morning, I get a notification from the post office sending that this was sent back to her because the address did not exist. And that was absolutely ridiculous because if you put an address that does not exist, it will not go through the postal when they scanning the box and stuff. So she called her post office and they held a package at the main post office here in Philadelphia. And then Tuesday, I sent her the, Monday, the um, number from the post office here so she could call them and see what was up. And right after I sent it to her, my doorbell rings and it's the package on the door. So it was completely, completely ridiculous what they did with this box. I got it. Thank God. So let's open it. I'm not going to show my address. I got some people calling me out because I think I showed my address on my last Timo haul. I didn't notice I did that. Let me see how we're going to open this. And so it says, but you know that this month for me is like a sad month. Christmas many years ago when my grandma that she was like my like a mom I lost her close to my husband's death so it's kind of sad for me Christmas I don't celebrate I just stay home like a normal day and um yeah so kind of my mojo goes away then my hand is killing me the pain I have an appointment finally for January 13th, 13th with the um, wrist specialist. And on the 3rd of January, I have for my injections on my shoulder, my knee, and my other hand. So, got it open. Ooh, I see gorgeousness here. Oh my goodness, sis, what did you do? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, first thing I see. She got me a pouring medium. This is for pourings. I love doing pourings. It's been a while since I don't do one. But they're really cool with this because you can get the um the cells with the heating tool. Oh no. Look at this. It's as mixed well with um Sergeant Art acrylic glue. Acrylic paint. Trail and rotate the paint on your support to infinite compositions. The finished product will dry to a resin-like finish. For best results, apply the coat of sergeant or acrylic gloss medium to varnish the finished piece. Ooh. Permanent when dry for use with acrylic paint for best results. Apply art acrylic gloss to finish product oh i gotta try this hmm. i got an idea for this let's see thank you for that sis i've never seen this did you get this at dollar tree it's on a green barrier it's a sergeantart.com so that's that then i see glitter <laughs> i see glitter <laughs> She got me the crafters squares, jumbo glitter, in hot pink. Look how beautiful is that. You can use it when you're doing resin. So she got me the hot pink, the silver, which I love. I love silver. That's what I usually like to wear on my jewelry, silver. 
and then this beautiful um, blue is just gorgeous and you get 1.4 ounces 40 grams thank you sis and they are like um they have the pouring um oh yeah you see all the glitter there you just gotta take that out She sent me, oh, I think she got these in Timu. I'm going to say it was Timu. I'm not sure. But these are, you can put them like this and put like a screw in there. And then you can hang whatever you want to hang. These I'm going to save because, you know, guys, that I've been looking for an apartment. And I've been getting little things here and there, like for hanging um, stuff in my craft room. Later on, I might come with my Timu haul. I have a Timu haul to record. So these are very, very nice and handy. Yeah, so I'm thinking that she got these awesome hooks on Timu. Correct me if I'm wrong, sis. <laughs> Love that. Let me see this. Oh, these, she found them at Dollar Tree. She asked me if I wanted one, and I told her yes because you can slide your favorite vegetable and fruits in this. It's called Basta Sheet Slicer, and I love cucumber uh, to make cucumber wraps and stuff. That would be awesome. And she found these at Dollar Tree, guys. Like a Dollar Tree. This goes for a lot more, and you can do apple, peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Apple peanut butter roll up, <laughs> pesto veggie noodles, veggie lasagna, <laughs> Get keto, vegan, and vegetarian friendly, makes vegetables and fruit sheets of fe or fettuccine sized veggies noodles, stores away easily, BPA free, stainless steel braids, bonus, fettuccine blade included. So this is how it looks on the side. Then on the other side, I'm going to try it. And I think I have a big um, cucumber that I can put through this. Let's see how it comes. Because I know these got to be delicious. Like the cucumber wraps with some, some chicken in it and some peppers. So she got me one. Thank you, sis. I got a whole bunch of glitter on my table. <sighs> oh socks I love socks she got me no me socks let me take these off because I can wear them on Christmas day I'm a sock fan I love socks guys like this because I always even in the summertime I like to wear socks to walk barefoot in the house I don't know it's just something that I've been doing for years and um i don't want to pull it because the things can break the socks and i don't want them to be broken you see only he's got caught and he's got it and then this one don't have any oh yes it does right here oh let me see it's in the inside i think where did it go? Oh, I think it fell out already. Yeah. So you get the socks with the Nomis. And then you get the... They stretch a lot. With the Nomis. <laughs> They're so cute. Thank you, sis. I'm going to wear them on Christmas. They have snowflakes. The red heel and the toes. And then the little Nomis. With the um, sweater and the hat. Super pretty. I'm just taking out things randomly. Woo! She told me she found these for me, but I think she found some others. Woohoo! Yes, for next Christmas though. But look how beautiful they are. I've never seen them before. Oh Lord, look how cute. The gnomies, the um, poinsettias, 
snowflake, stars, oh my god, we get so many fucking pieces. Look how pretty! Oh, sorry for the glare. I'm sorry. Then are these. This one says Merry Christmas and the L, and you get 12 pieces in here. You get the candies, the snowflakes, the stars, and the gnomes, and you get six gnomes. Look how pretty! <laughs> I love them! I've never seen them before. I haven't been to Odalo for the longest, so. This one is the same, I think. Are they? Yeah, just in different places. No, they're different. They're absolutely different. And you get 11 pieces in this one. Look how pretty. Oh, this one is cute. They holding the light. And then you have some mittens, a stocking with a deer in it, and some stars and snowflakes. They're all different. They're so pretty. Oh, she got me the Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. They're super adorable. Look at these. Over here, he's holding a candy cane. A gift. Another candy cane. Some more gifts. The chimney. Some gifts. And what is this? The slate? Yeah. Look how pretty. And then the wreath. Holly Jolly. I think these are amazing. Wow. Then this one, you get Santa, but you get the penguins too. Look how pretty. This is Merry Christmas. Oh, I think they're beautiful. Look at that. Hold on, there. Okay. Then over here, you guys, Miss Claus. Yes. Joy. Some gifts. A little house. A deer. Santa going down the chimney. Um, Christmas tree. Ornaments. Oh my god, these are adorable. Sis. Thank you so much. I love them. Oh, look at these. <laughs> these are so, so duper cute. You get the poinsettia down here. You get Chris, um, the buggy with the Christmas tree. Here is Santa with his sack on the back. Let it snow. The penguin. Super cute. Another penguin with some gifts in Santa drinking some hot cocoa with marshmallows and a candy cane. Ain't they adorable, guys? I think they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. This is... Okay. Ooh. Who is this? This is... cards and envelopes let me open one and see and it brings four sets okay these are supposed to be the cards in the craft color paper and then these are the envelopes and they fit perfectly inside you can make um like little gingerbread houses with this and i think they will be super duper cute so for next christmas that's an option I like the idea. You can make um, anything with this. Like over here, they show you like a toolbox. Over here, they show you a house. I will do either a regular house for regular crafting or a gingerbread house for next year for Christmas. So thank you, sis. These are awesome. <sighs> and she gave me two. Thank you, thank you. Let me see what's this. What is this? Oh my god. What is this? Let's open it and see. What's the opening? It does not have an opening. Oh yeah, it does for you. I see fairies and I love fairies. Let me see what it is. It is, let me. It's a tote bag. Oh my god, look at this. Let me see if I can show you better. Let me move this to the side so I can put the bag closer and you can see. Look at the fairies. Oh my gosh, I love it. See, it's my color. I love fairies. I actually have an, I'm a big, huge diamond pay, um, paint, that I, paint that I have to finish, and it's a big fairy. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. And the material, 
This is really strong. I think she did a video showing tote bags. Tote bags. But I can't remember if I've seen this one there. Oh my god, this is beautiful, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let me see what else. I'm trying to grab stuff from the bottom. Oh, she knows I used this for my last um, journal cover. I made it out of, this, out of one of these. These are the um, vinyl top liners from um, Dollar Tree. Let's open it to see the design. And the cover came out really, oh my God, this is perfect. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm using it a lot, like the two covers. Yes, thank you, sis. Look at the roses. Oh, this is really, really good to make a journal cover. It doesn't um, stiff up. You can manage it really, really well and fold it on the edges. And it doesn't give you any type of um, bulk. It's just like vintage. -y. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's my first time trying that on my um, crabs. Oh, look at this! <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Oh, and there's something else. Oh, this is going on my key right away. As soon as I'm done here. This is beautiful. I have some of these in my cart as well. It says, not sisters by blood, but sisters by heart. Oh my God, this is just beautiful. Let me see if I can show you. There you go. Here. Uh, I don't want to give you a lot of glare. Oh, this is going on my keys right away. Thank you, sister. And you're right. We might not be sisters by blood, but by heart. Yes, we are. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I got one in my Timu cart for my sons my daughters and i think i saw some from the grandkids so thank you i love it love it love it love it and then look at this with my initial and the flowers i love the contrast with the glass oh this is gonna go in my big purse oh and it's cushiony too where did you get this this is good quality i think no i'm let me not say it's timo because i don't know Oh, this is beautiful look at the daisies if they are daisies no they're not the rose and then you see all the leaves and my initial i for isabel and look at this the inside is very very nice yes i can carry these on my big purse it has a lot of space and then let's see what else okay what is this Ooh, this is good for my cricket. Ooh, and that too. Adhesive cutting mat. I never know that Dollar Tree had these. Standard grip. This is the um one you can put for molar. Smaller cuts on your is um a 4.5 by 6.5 inches um adhesive cutting mat from the Crafter Square. And look at the pretty blue. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Because I have the 12 by 12. I know I have them in pink, I think. But they're from, um, I got those at Hobby Lobby. The first time I went to Hobby Lobby in New York. So, thank you. It says the standard grip mat is a multi-purpose mat that is perfect for a wide range of medium weight materials, including pattern paper, vinyl, iron on, cardstock, craft paper, heat transfer vinyl. Oh. Wow, this is awesome. Thank you so much. And then over here, let me throw it in the trash. Over here, we see a glue gun pad. This is awesome because you know that sometimes some glue guns, they drip and they will not get attached to it. And this one is, let's see the measurements, 7.5 by 10.4 inches. Protects worst surface from dripping glue. Glue peels off after glue is dry, heat resistant, and non stick. Okay. Let's open it and show you. Oh, this is perfect. Huh. Let me 
this i open it later oh hold on i could just open it no i'm not gonna force it so and that's that thank you sis in the trash okay let's see more stuff here let's see what it is Oh, I see some yumminess here and a big bag too. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's pull everything out and put the bag in here. In the trash. Oh, first I see is this. Oh, I like this. This is made out of good material. Oh, this is pretty. It's like there's some ribbon that my mom sent me that it was paper too. It feels like that. And they call it ribbon paper, um, paper ribbon in Puerto Rico. So, ooh, and she sent me a big piece too. Look. Yes. <gasps> Thank you, sis. my favorite color. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> wow. And she sent me a whole bunch. You see, it was the end. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this, how pretty. Wow, I like it. Very, very much. Thank you, sis. Thank you, this is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> just roll it. So I can put it where it goes, where it belongs. I hope you guys can hear me because sometimes I forget that my phone is a little bit messed up. And um, where the hell is this from? Was this came from the box? I think it did. Yeah, ornament filler. I think this stuff from the box when I was pulling stuff. In red white and green so you can use these two colors for valentine's and then you can use all three colors for christmas for shakers thank you sis hanging from my sewing machine let me pull it off Okay, then she sent me these awesome folders that I can use to make um, the folios that I do with pockets for um, to put embellishments in, like to store your small pieces, like small stickers or small um, embellishments. And you can make any theme you want. There's many ways of creating them. I like to use, I use like three to make a one folio. So she gave me a whole bunch. Look at this. You gave me a whole bunch. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love those. And then here we got some papers. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at these. How pretty. Oh, and they're double sided. I love that color. That's pretty too. This one is just red with polka dots. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like both sides. <laughs> That's a dilemma when you like both sides of the paper. You kind of struggle to use it because you love both sides so much. But then we have this one on the side and this one and this one. I like this one. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, the pairs on this side. I like this one better. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
The other side is like swatches of watercolor. That's why it looks to me like swatches. Then you get this side with the flowers on this one. And then the flowers. Oh, the flowers on this one. And then you get the stripes on this side. And it's this dress. Like if something dry, um, dripped on it, that's the look that it has. But this is pretty. Oh, I don't want them to go on even. Then we have these. I love this side more than this one. This color green, hunter green is so pretty. But look at that side. Ooh, bees. Bee. I don't have anything with bees. But then I love the bees. And then look, I love that too. <laughs> That's gonna be a struggle. Maybe I use half on one thing and the other half on the other side. I got this one with that on that side. Then these pretty uh, like watercolor flowers on the other side. I like these a lot. Then we got stripes, like sideways, and then look at that, how beautiful is that? I don't know what's with me and yellow, but I've been liking yellow on paper. It looks so pretty, especially for the summertime. Then we have these pretty lines over here, and then we have these watercolor um, design on the other side, which is so pretty as well. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Ah. Okay. You get the yellow and pink polka dots on this side and the white base. And then these, I'm not going to look too much because those lines tend to make me dizzy. I don't know why. But it tends to um, play with my eyes and I get dizzy. Then we have these white and gray, um, gray polka dots on white. And then look at this, guys. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> then we got this watercolor. Yellow with the orangey color. Going on pink right here. And then let's see the other side. The lines again. I like this one better. Some of them I, I, I can decide really quick. But some others I can't. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? Where did you get this? Ah, oh, but look at that side too. I love the flower. I love flowers. I love flowers. I grew around flowers. My grandma used to have uh, any type of flowers. I think that she could find. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? How beautiful is that? Then on the other side, the lines that make me dizzy. Oh, look at this. And then look at the beautiful fall paper. Yes, definitely. Um, this one, we get the pretty green on this side. And then we get the um, walnuts. No, they have another name. <laughs> I can't remember right now. Acorn. Acorns. Then on this one, we got, to me, they look like little swatches yellow kind of a brick color and like a greenish color and then on this side you get this beautiful brown i think it's gorgeous it's kind of a brick color oh look at this how pretty love it love it love it, love it. and this on this side oh look at this purple one she knows me well. I love it. Look at this, how pretty. How pretty is that? Ooh, another yellow. Oh yes, look how pretty. Look how gorgeous is that. Okay. Then we have this one. Look how beautiful is that? That's my favorite side. This one is my favorite. You get that on the other side. You get these gorgeous flowers on white. I like both sides. But these flowers are just beautiful. That green, bluish green color. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. It's like a neon green. 
and then you get these look how gorgeous <gasps> beautiful is that guys I have it in green and then in this color <laughs> then we get these beautiful ones in pink and then the other side is pink we get them on pink and um, in pink on the other side do you see the pink because the camera is like playing with my eyes We got this one, and then the other side is like this. We got one pink, like hot pink, and then the other side is. These colors over here remind me of Dahlia, Mandalika Tamoy. She loves these type of colors, they're beautiful. Look at this. I go more for this side than for this one. Kind of makes me dizzy too. Then you get this one and then these on the back. And this one. And then I like that. Paisley. Like it. And the other side. Oh, this one has texture, I think. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> These are stickers. Like borders. We get borders here. And then we get these over here with the scallop um, edge. And we get some flowers and some dots, some little flowers. Doilies. These are doilies. This looks like buttons to me. And then you get these other ones right here. Super pretty. Oh, look at this orange. Look how pretty is that. And then we got these colorful ones. And then this side with the stripes. Everything depends on what you're working on. And that's what you're going to pull out to use. Look at this, how pretty. And it has the edge right there. These papers are super good. Oh, look at the wood green and green. With the green. And then you get corn on the other side. Of course, I'll go for that one. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on. Okay. So I get this one with the vines. I don't know if you can appreciate it there maybe there this is beautiful it's like embossed like a light embossing then you get the stars let me see if i can put it in a way that you can see the stars right but whoops 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 right there this is stars and then these are flowers there you go it's beautiful to make cards so this is my Christmas gifts from my sis that I love muchisima, muchisima, muchisima. not because of what she sends me but because I just love her <laughs> just because um, thank you for everything everything is so beautiful and this is going on my on my keys right now as soon as I'm done here I love it, love it, love it. This is so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make me very happy. And I wasn't too happy today. <laughs> love you. Love you guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. And I will see you on my next video, which I think will be another Christmas gift. See you later. Bye. Mm, big hugs and a bunch of kisses.